Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rosalind Cooper with your Cooper Connection on the second half of the Paula G Show here on Survival Radio Network. I want to talk to you tonight about how to get through tough times. Like right now, what we're going through as a whole world is a very tough time for a lot of people. People are out of work. People, you know, are not congregating, can't see your family, you can't see your friends unless it's through Zoom or social media. And it's a very hard time for a lot of people, very tough time for us. And I just want to talk to you tonight about how to get through them and just share some of my experiences getting through tough times. Um, If you tuned in last week, I shared my experiences of being diagnosed with depression and anxiety. And Ms. Paula said early in the show, I really like this about, you know, people with anxiety and depression. It's a whole nother situation in our minds than what's really going on. And that disease does affect the way you think. And so we're thinking 10 times worse than what really is going on. If you're experiencing anxiety and depression, I just want you to know you're not alone. There's a lot of people experiencing it, especially now. And, you know, mine have raised a little bit. My anxiety has gone up a little bit, especially when I go out in public. But I just pray and go on. And, you know, you can't be scared, but you you still can be cautious and not be afraid. So how to get through tough times? I've gotten through them by knowing that better will come. And I always say that sometimes rejection is God's protection because sometimes you weren't meant to get that or you weren't meant to be with that person. It doesn't mean something was wrong with you. Maybe God is protecting you from something. And most of the times in my cases, he was protecting me from things. But, you know, I'm tired of hearing no, especially in the, industry I want to be in, acting and on radio, you know, I hear a lot of no's. You'll hear a lot of no's. I've been rejected a lot of times. I have been, you know, people have done things to me, people have said things to me, and I persevered. I, I've gotten over it. Like, when I was going through it, I was like, I don't know if I can get through this. I'm tired of being strong when I just want to just break down and give up. But I'm like, no, I can't do that. I have to stay strong and know that this too shall pass. And I really love that phrase, this too shall pass. Because things will get better. Days will get better. It does seem dark and gloomy right now. But things will get better. And they have gotten better for me. And I've moved on and done things and accomplished things and really didn't pay what people said or did to me any attention. You know, sometimes I do think about it sometimes, and I'm just like, oh, gosh, I can't believe this happened. I can't believe that happened. And sometimes I look back, like, how did I get through that? And I just want to share some of my Bible verses that have helped me get through tough times. The first one is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. I really love that because If you really do let God direct your life and let God work in your life and get out the way, you'll be surprised. I mean, it'll blow your mind. It'll be 10 times better than you could ever imagine. You just got to let God work. And when you're in that tough time, I know it seems like the world is ending and, and nothing is going right in your life and everything is just falling apart. Trust me, I've been there. I know that, but I'm here to tell you that you will get through it. There is light at the end of that tunnel. I know that it seems very bleak now, especially with this COVID-19 we are facing. There will be light at the end of the tunnel, and things will get better, and this too shall pass. And I also want to share another one, Psalms 91.5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day. In Psalms 91.6 nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. That's self-explanatory right there, but I will explain it. Trust God. Trust God that he will get you through it. Trust him that he 
will put a hedge of protection over you, that he will send the angels with you or whatever higher power you believe, that they'll send you protection, they'll send you guidance, they'll send you comfort, give you strength to get through this. Because I know one thing, tough times has made me a lot stronger than I think I am. You know, sometimes I don't think I'm a strong person. But when I sit back and look at that, and that's what something everybody should do, sit back and look at the obstacles and, and the circumstances that you overcame to get to where you need to be today. You are a champion. You are a victor. You made it. You did it. You got through that tough time, and together we will get through this tough time. I know it just seems like everything, like they're showing these big cities, the streets are empty. They're showing, I, I go to the store, and there's empty shelves. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, but I cannot lose. I got to know that God will get us through this. I was challenged on Facebook the other day about my belief, but I said I believe it because I am still here. I have breath in my body. I have something to be thankful and grateful for. You don't have to believe it. Whatever you believe, you can believe. But that is what I believe, that God is getting me through this. God is going to get us through through this, because that's the only person I know that can get us through this. No one else can but God or any higher power you serve. And, um, you know, the pestilence that walketh by darkness or the destruction that wastes us at noonday, pretty much the coronavirus. You know, it's a pestilence. It's a disease. It's a pestilence. It's a pest. It is interfering in everybody's life worldwide. That's why this thing is very scary because I've never really seen anything like this. However, I know that this is not bigger than God, and God will get us through this onto the other side because that is what he promised us. And if we choose to believe it, then you should have faith that he will deliver. Sometimes my faith is a little shaky, especially after being diagnosed with depression and anxiety. It was very shaky. Because I'm just like, oh, my gosh, how could this happen to me? What happened? You know, but I can't throw pity parties for myself, and I can't sit here and, and say, why did this happen to me? Because I, I also look at things could be a lot worse. Like, we could have no Internet, no TV. Like, things could be no running water. A hundred times worse than it is now. Yes, it is very bad right now. People are losing their life, and I just pray, you know, give them people peace and give their family peace. And I just feel awful. But God has the last day. God's hand is in this. And we just have to trust him and believe that he will deliver us. You know, we should not be afraid. Do not worry. I know T.D. Jake says that a lot. Do not worry. Do not worry. As a person with anxiety, that's like the main symptom is to just worry about everything, and everything is just 100 times worse than what it really is. And, oh, my gosh, and it's the end of the world, and let's just give up. You know, that's what your anxiety will say to you. That's what it will do to you. That it cripples your ability to really think straight and to think like, okay, this is not that bad, but what I do is I pray, and I'll just tell myself, okay, it's not that bad. Come back down to reality and just breathe and give yourself some, give myself some, you know, <laughs> oh, I can't think of the word right now, but just give myself some credit. That's the word. <laughs> credit. For the things that I did get through, for the things that I've accomplished, for the tough times I did get past. And when I look back on that, I'm like, you know what? I could get through this. And whatever you're facing in your life, whatever that might be, just know that you will get through it. Have faith, trust, believe, keep pushing. We got to still keep living. We can't just give up and just be like, okay, just take me. No. You guys keep fighting, fighting, fighting till the end. Just keep fighting and pushing through this. I know it's like, oh, my gosh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it sometimes either, but sometimes I have to. I have to just get through the rough patches, get through the tough stuff, and it's been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, one after the other. 
but I still have the tenacity, the resilience to pray and get through all this that I have faced and what I am facing currently today. You know, this is putting my acting career on hold. Like, pause, like, it's just non-existent right now, but so is a lot of other people. Nobody's filming. Nobody's doing anything. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, I'm running out of time, and I'll never make it. I'll never achieve it. I don't know what God has planned for me. But what I do know is whatever he has planned for me, that's his will, and that he'll get me through this. And he will get me on the other side of the tunnel. There's light at the other end of the tunnel. And he will make a way. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he should direct your path. And I just want to just say in closing that Whatever tough situation that you might be in right now, whatever tough time you're in right now, have faith, knowing that it will end, knowing that things will get better. I'm praying for everyone. I'm praying for everyone to be safe. I'm praying for everyone to be um, calm as possible, you know, try to act as normal as possible. I know this is a very abnormal time for us. But just try to make it make it as great as possible, even though I know it just seems terrible right now. Just just praise God that you've made it this far. Praise God that you're still here and you're fighting. And as long as you have breath in your body, you can do and accomplish whatever you want. So I just want to encourage you to stay strong. Keep fighting. I promise that you will get to victory. I promise that you'll make it on the other side. 